was shot and killed at a Warner Robins home this morning just before 1 a.m. on 3rd Street. 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz spoke to a neighbor who says this is the first time something like this has happened in that area. Very much a shocker. Winston Lawson owns a barber shop down the street from the shooting that happened Thursday morning. He also rents out a house in the neighborhood. This, this area has been very safe, you know, in comparison. Warner Robins police responded to a call just before 1 a.m. at a home on 3rd Street. 43-year-old Edward McKellar was shot in the head. Public Information Officer Jennifer Parsons says the homicide is still under investigation. I don't know if anybody else is in the house. Um, I don't know if he lived at that location, um, but I do know that he was outside of the residence at the time of the shooting. Lawson's been running this house right behind me for about 20 years. It's right next to the house where McKellar was shot. Even though Lawson doesn't live here, he says he does visit the area often. Those people that were living there, they seem to go and come and, you know, like their families do. And, uh, I never heard, I never saw any cops over there or never heard of any criminal activity. Police haven't said how the shooting started or who else was involved, but they do have a suspect of interest. That suspect is um, cooperating with our agency at this time. Lawson says it's unfortunate this happened, but he still feels safe in his neighborhood. Things like that, you know, unless you had somebody standing around the clock, there's nothing you can do. I mean, this is just a coincidental kind of thing. In Warner Robins, Edna Ruiz, 41 NBC News. Now, within the last 30 minutes, Warner Robins police say they have arrested two people for this murder. 22-year-old Jamarcus Dwayne Duncan has been charged with involuntary manslaughter. 34-year-old Reginald Holcomb Taylor charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and tampering with evidence. Police say at this point, their investigation leads them to believe the three men may have been playing with a gun they thought was unloaded. This is the third fatal shooting in Warner Robins in the past week.